Uh, welcome, welcome to another demonstration video uh, for one of our Zoho CRM Marketplace plugins. Um, this one is our Logic, what we call Logic Joint Consolidator, um, and this video will explain some of the upgrades and the modifications that we've made to the plugin um, to further help Zoho CRM users get more uh, benefit out of Zoho CRM. Um, so basically, what the tool does is it enables you to consolidate uh, records, individual records from within any of the native Zoho CRM uh, inventory modules. And those are the native quotes, uh, sales orders uh, and invoice modules. And what you can basically do is from within any of those modules, you can select multiple records and consolidate them. So I can basically come into here and I can select uh, these three um, quotes here and click this button here consolidate quotes and you'll see that it's returned that a consolidated quote with this record number has been created and then i can close this and then you can see that that um, the consolidated quote has been created you'll notice that i'm still in the quotes module here um, and the records for it and you can still see those um, quotes that I've actually consolidated, but here's the, the relevant um, consolidated quote. So if I open up any of these quotes that have just been consolidated, and I can then navigate down here to the consolidated quote um, uh, link. So this is the actual consolidated quote that was actually created. So if I open that up, You'll see that now it combines all of the items and the pricing and the quantities from those three quotes that I consolidated. And you can also see here in the related list, I can click on that and I can see the actual quotes that actually uh, were used to create the consolidated quote. So the, the concept behind quotes is that let's say you've got a customer and you've done multiple quotes for them and the customer says, okay, I want to go ahead with all of those. Can you resend the quote? You can quickly select those and then create a single quote from multiple quotes and send that to your customer. And now if we jump into the sales orders, uh, sales order module, you can basically see that I can do the same thing. I can take, um, say these three orders, uh, sorry, that from a different account, I can take these three sales orders here, click the consolidate sales orders button. And then you'll see a new sales order has been created. And you'll see that come up to the top here. Here's that consolidated sales order. It's got the company name and it's got the date that it was created. I can open that up. And then if I scroll down, you can see all of those items are there. And then again, you can see the the orders that have been consolidated to create the consolidated invoice. Now, if you want, you can obviously go in and edit uh, the subject if you like. If you don't want to send that to the customer, you can change whatever you want to say there and then send that to there. So the example here or the use case might be that um, you have a customer um, that's uh, ordered, uh, got multiple sales orders, but they want to see one um, consolidated sales order um, document, you can you can do that. Um, and if you've got our Sync to Zoho Finance button, um, you can use that to actually um, click that and sync it to uh, Zoho Finance. So now we have a, um, a copy, corresponding uh, copy of this sales order that exists inside Zoho Inventory that is actually a different plugin that you can buy separately. Um, so that's sales orders. Uh, then if I go into invoices, um, you can see that again, I can basically do the same thing. So I can take these, um, these uh, invoices here, click the consolidated, consolidate invoices button. And again, we'll create another consolidated invoice. Um, and then if I click here and open it up, um, here's all those items. Again, here's the consolidated, the invoices that that form that consolidated invoice. And then again, you can send that to your customer. The use case for invoices is obviously a lot of customers, um, a lot of Zoho CRM users are creating individual invoices every time they do something for a customer or ship them something or perform a service, but that customer may not want to receive invoices um, on a um, invoices on a um, 
uh, you know, one at a time, they want to see them consolidate, consolidated at the end of the month. So that's where this tool helps. Um, you don't need someone to sit there, basically open up each invoice or, you know, create a new invoice and then copy all of the items here. You can simply select invoices and then um, you can consolidate them. Uh, the tool also ensures that you're consolidating for the one account. You can't consolidate invoices for two separate accounts. Um, if you want to, you would need to change the account for those. Um, but basically, yes, you can um, very, very quickly select multiple quotes or multiple sales or multiple invoices and turn them into quotes. Uh, another tool that we have um, which is actually not in this system, is the ability to sync this invoice to, um, say, Zoho Books or Xero or any of those types of tools as well. If you're looking for something like that, we can help you with. If you're looking for a way to customise this, you might have a particular use case, then please reach out to us, we can help you. Um, please install the system um, and let us know. If you're having troubles getting the system to work after you install it, uh, please reach out to us in the link below and we'd be more than happy to get on a remote desktop sharing session and help you out. So hope you found that useful. Again, if you have any questions whatsoever, please contact us in the details below. Thank you.